Ah, uh, right. Hi, guys. I am here to talk about uh, the Grammys and the controversies about the Grammys uh, this week. So, yeah, grab a coffee, grab a cuppa or anything and come sit with me and chill and we'll talk about Grammys. So one of the biggest kind of controversies this year has been about The weekend and the fact that he received zero nominations in any categories. Um, I'll put up a screenshot here of all the categories that he did submit to that were completely overlooked. And this is just crazy to people because his single, Blinding Lights, was the longest running of the entire year, I think on the Billboard charts, and was one of the best selling. And his album was also one of the top selling albums of the entire year. And it was definitely his year. You could tell it was his year. He he dominated like major ca major charts around the world. He also tweeted, I'll put, up, I'll put it up here or here, wherever, that he was actually planning a performance with the Grammys. So he'd already been in talks with them and had done rehearsals and things like that to plan a performance, which again, just is, it's just all a bit strange that there was no kind of nod in his direction at all. The other thing is that Justin Bieber's Yummy was nominated in two major categories, I'm pretty sure, despite not performing well at all on the charts and just being probably one of the worst songs of the year. So I think a lot of people are kind of sceptical about what is going on with the Grammys this year. Um, his manager, Justin's manager, Scooter Braun, is kind of known to be a bit, a bit shady, a bit kind of sketchy. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. But yeah, thanks for listening, guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye.